at 3.30. We've got four 3.30 games, by the way, and one 4 o'clock game. So it is by far... It is, I think, the more popular window. Um, you got the 637 window is going to also have five games in it. So I guess it's also going to have... The, the noon window has the least amount of playoff eligible football teams playing. But at 330, we got Washington State, who's 4-2. and two. Tournament number 9, Oregon, who's 5-1. and one. Oregon favored by 20 on ABC. Cam Warren has gone 147-211. Thrown for 1,779 yards, 14 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. That Kyle Watson has had 51 carries for 153 yards and 3 touchdowns on the ground. And Kyle Williams has had 33 catches for 447 yards and 4 touchdowns. Bo Nix for the Ducks has gone 164 to 207, thrown for 1,796 yards, 17 touchdowns, 1 interception. Bucky Irving has had 72 carries for 520 yards and 5 touchdowns. And Troy Franklin's had 40 catches for 689 yards and 8 touchdowns. Uh, Oregon's 53 and 42 against Washington State all time. Last four games have gone to Oregon from 2019 to 2022. But before that, Washington State had won the previous four. So they split the last eight. It has been a pretty even series back and forth, at least lately. Um, I'm interested here, right? Both these teams are coming off rough losses, right? And everyone can make excuses for the UCLA game. UCLA has a really good defense, some might say. Last week against Arizona wasn't good for Cam Ward and that, Cougar, Cam Ward and that Cougars offense, to be fair. That is a good Arizona team. I would argue that it's one of the better four and three teams in the entire nation. And any of those three losses could have gone the other way. You're talking about the three overtime loss to USC. You could have talked about the overtime loss to Mississippi State or the seven point loss to Washington. But the fact is that Arizona team was playing good football. It's not insane that they went and beat Washington State. I picked them to beat Washington State. It is how they beat Washington State. They destroyed them. They destroyed the Cougs. Oregon's coming off a little bit more of a heartbreaker because they were playing their rival Washington on the road. They had the lead late, and it's just like hindsight's twenty twenty. But right before half, you should have taken the points, right? You were gifted three points before halftime. I don't care. It's fourth and goal from the four yard line. You take the points. If it's fourth and goal from the one, I understand. But four yards is a long way to go with a football, and. You should take the points there. That is a take the points moment. Um, but that's how Dan Lanning coaches. He's an aggressive coach. And sometimes that really helps you out. Sometimes that helps you win football games. Sometimes it hurts you and it makes you lose them. Um, it's a rough one if you're an Oregon fan. But this is a chance to stay in playoff contention, stay nationally relevant, right? The, as long as you keep winning, you're going to get a shot, likely. No, not likely. You will get a shot if you win out. You're going to get a shot at Washington again in the Pac-12 championship. Or maybe not Washington, but you play USC, who's the only other undefeated uh, Pac-12 football team. As long as you beat USC, you're going to be fine. Um, as long as tiebreakers don't go the other way. As long as USC doesn't beat Washington and then tiebreakers hurt you. But you're going to be fine if you're Oregon as long as you keep winning football games. This is an important one. This is an important bounce-back game. I think Washington State keeps this close, right? I think Oregon's favorite at 20. I think that's a bit too much. I think Washington State has had two bad games back-to-back. -back. They, should they shouldn't have three. Give me Washington State to cover here, but Oregon to win outright. 